YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. It's finally time to leave Tucson, Arizona. Where am I headed? I'm headed north. I waited till Sunday to get uh, through some major towns to get where I'm going, but I doubt I'll make it one day. Y'all come with me, come on. Checked all my fluids, tire pressure where I could, got the tracker hooked up. Morning, Tucker. Morning, Dad. Where are we going now? It's a surprise. I like surprises. Yeah, how about this surprise? How about I bite you? I'll bite you. That's not so nice, Tuck Tuck. Where are my babies this morning? Hey, Martini. Hey, baby May Mays. <laughs> Want to say goodbye to the Casino del Sol. Very good place to stop. Lots of RVers here. I keep thinking I'm going to leave and not come back, and here I am again. But this time I mean it. I mean it. I mean it, Tuck. We're out of here. Okay. Bye, Casino del Sol. <laughs> Casino del Sol. Take the next left, then turn left. Well, we are about 15 minutes from Sedona. I believe, I don't want to tell you wrong, but I think this was Highway 197. Sedona's five miles. I'm closer than I thought. Isn't that gorgeous? I gotta find a place to stay. It's getting late in the afternoon. What a pretty little town. I like the building style. isn't hurt, hurting for scenery, that's for sure. Man, let the window down, I can't see nothing. Not your window, my window. Oh. It's cold. It's cold in here, Daddy. There were 4,000 feet elevation. I just passed a sign. Wow. Looks like there's a flea market or farmer's market, some kind of little event going on. Okay, I got to get my bearings. afternoon later than what I like it's after three o'clock I like to know where I'm going by now I was hoping to pull in here and stop for a minute see if I can find a place no such luck I should have stopped in town well I went up 89A 
to a freecampsites.net spot and the road was extremely muddy. We got snow up here, 20 mile an hour through here. Quite impressive. Sedona's prettier than anything I've seen yet, hands down. Have ice warnings here. I think today is March 18th. Babies are getting restless, me too. So I saw two campgrounds down at the bottom of the valley down here that were state run. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, whatever it costs is whatever I'm paying. I, got, I should have done my homework just a little bit better. Isn't that beautiful? Got my hands full. I better get back to driving. We switch backs or something else. They say 15 miles an hour. They mean 15 miles an hour. Had this teenage kid pass me coming up the road. View century, blue one. And uh, he had nowhere to get in. And then uh, I let him in because if he didn't, he was going to hit somebody head on. Swallow my pride, let my anger go. And then it wasn't a uh, half mile later he passed somebody on a blind curve. So I guess I just should have let him hit me. Took him off the road. Well, I went up the mountain, came back down the mountain, and I pulled into a little campsite right here. Ooh, it's tight in here. Moo Tucker, I gotta see my mirror. He wants to see out too. And uh, the free campsites didn't work out. The road was awful muddy. I didn't want to get in there and get stuck. I could see snow cover most of a mountain up there. So maybe a little cooler, a little warmer down here. But I pulled in here and the site manager came up and said that he had a pull through site. So I got to pull back out to the road and go back down to him. It's really pretty in here. There's a creek and the views are outstanding. 22 a night. Got nice little grills on site. Let's get, hopefully get lucky. He says, I'm not gonna lie to you. I said, please don't. He says, it's a nice site. I said, okay. I don't knock my mirrors off on these pine trees. I'm glad I got a small RV. I'm just gonna say it. I'm glad this thing's small. Cause this trip's taught me a lot. Here we are, it's called Coco Nino. Pine Flat. This guy's sitting here waiting on me. He said he had a nice pull through. Look up those mountains, would you? He's got a Jeep. Good looking sucker too. Maybe he's the man I need to know where to go four wheel up here. I like these little grills. Little barrel grills. I didn't see any showers. Very nice fire rings. First, I'm out of firewood. I got one. I got one fire log. Nice little bathhouse. He's waiting on me. Here it is, right here. Tucker likes it. Man, I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, well, the camp post was very nice. Turns out, 
have some firewood left over. He's a Jeep guy. Let me sit here and we talked about Miss Blue for quite a while. There's a tent over there. No showers. 22 a night. I don't know, it might be worth it with this view. And I have uh, water. He says 47 during the day, low 20s at night. Oh, fell in a hole. But we got water. So I'm too tired to drive any further. I've been on the road five or six hours. And uh, he told me the other campground down here doesn't accept RVs. So I lucked out. Nice little place. Let these babies out for just a minute. I told him that I went up to the freecampsites.net spot. He knew the, the road I was talking about. But I, he said, yeah, he said an RV got stuck in there yesterday. He said it snowed last night and it snowed here this morning. He said, do you have went in there, you'd have got stuck for sure. I'm learning. I like this little grill and I have some charcoal. Looky, looky, looky. Hmm. Got the charcoal started. Have just a little bit. And I uh, went and picked up some sticks and twigs and bark and put the uh, bag for the uh, charcoal in there, but I got a bad feeling. Camp Post, he told me that he wet this wood to put it out this morning, but I'm going to give it a whirl. If you've never had these, Black Angus from uh, Sam's. You get them at Walmart or Sam's. I believe these are the Vidalia onion. Nope, just seasoned. Good stuff. Just saying. I want to cheat on the fire. It's too cold to play around. Maybe we'll get lucky. So we're going to say we had a fire anyway. It was cold. Already got the little buddy going on inside the RV. I know the babies are cold, but I put a blanket in there with the two girls. Tucker can stand in a minute before I put him up. So that's what's going on. Well, I got a fire going after all. What do you know? Ooh. Fingers are like ice. That ain't getting it. Well, at least I'll be warm. I just might be hungry. Ooh. The sun started going down. And it got cold, cold, cold. Tell you what, I don't know what's happened to charcoal, but I can't seem to get it to burn long enough to cook anything anymore. The fire's going real good though, so I'll probably take my iron skillet and put it out on top of the fire. But uh, I think I want to like Sedona. This place is beautiful. You know, I drove past this campground and I went up north and uh, all that snow and ice. It's awful cold up there, but it's cold down here too. But when I saw I couldn't stay up there on that uh, freecampsites.net, I came back down the mountain. But uh, I'm gonna end the little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. More to come from Sedona soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.